Okay, welcome back. This is part two of how to, um, part two, part two. And we are finishing up our thread right here. I'm coming down to my first end. I, the dolphin comes out of the water. The dolphin goes back into the water. As the dolphin goes into the water, now I'm going to make a right turn. And I just put the needle in right next to where that one came out. And the needle goes back in. And I have now made a right turn. Ah, kind of. <laughs> it is close to a right turn, but not. And then I'll just keep going around until I get an embroidered stitch all the way around. Now I'm looking for two rows of embroidered stitches that go around the outside. I might get a little crooked from time to time, but the idea is to be as straight as possible, unlike what I just did there. All right, as you can see, I am coming up. I've almost got it embroidered all the way around. I'm coming up to my finish and I'm gonna pull it through. And then the dolphin goes back into the water right at that intersection. I now have that. I have my string has gone all the way around. So to finish that, the rabbit goes around the tree stump, over the root and through the hole. And I pull the needle through. And now I take it off of my finger and I can pull, I can pull the knot tight there or I could move it by pulling a little bit and then guaranteeing that I get the knot to there. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors, which is right here, and I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it right above both knots. And now I have an embroidered uh, square around the outside. Now I'm gonna put another layer of embroider. All right, same thing, I'm gonna take my green, I'm gonna get it wet, and then I'm gonna thread it through the eye of my needle. And then before it pulls back through, I'm gonna catch it and then I'm gonna retie it. So I get my rabbit. Got my rabbit, rabbit goes around the tree stump, over the root, th uh, through the hole and I pull it tight. And I'm gonna do it twice just to make sure because felt the needle makes, because it's a large eyed needle, it makes a big hole. So I'm gonna go through and do that again. All right, here I am back again. I'm almost complete. I'm matching up my final thread. And there we have. It's a green inside row of embroidered stitch. Now I'm gonna take my finger Wrap the, the bunny goes around the tree stump over the root and through the hole and I pull it tight. And now I cut that off. And then we're gonna talk about how to make the, so my name is John Knife Sterner. So I'm gonna take a pen or a, a, like a colored pencil and I'm gonna lightly sketch in my initials, J, K, and then a light S. And I'm gonna use that as my, um, my template. And then I'm gonna start by putting in my needle and pulling it until I get my first thread. All right. All right, I have almost completed it, but I got too far and I didn't like that. So I can take this stitch if I don't like a stitch and I can just pull the needle against this. This is where it helps to have a partner, but if I can get that needle straight, it'll pull out and then I can remove it. And then there's my embroidered JKS and I am not to finish it. And we are done with this. Notice I've left room around the outside so that we can add zombie stitch to attach it to the next part. So uh, that's all for today. Thanks for joining me. Woohoo!